Department it has taken recyclable items and put them to a good use. Good day, photographer Diamond Dave Grassoff is live in Roseville to show so us I'll more. Say hey, Dave. Yeah. Materials we brought. Oh. Okay, you guys are going to love this, okay? Uh, but I've just been hearing about uh, the love story between these two and how they met, and it's just been fantastic. This is Geneva, <laughs> but we're going to see her she shed here in just a second. And guys, Michael Jackson. How you doing? What? <laughs> doing great. So you helped her build thriller. this. Correct. Right. Yes. Help cutting, holding, screwing, all of it. She's part of uh, quite a remarkable woman, isn't she? Geneva is amazing. The most yeah. beautiful woman I've ever known. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Next okay. to mom. Next to mom. Okay. <laughs> Mike, it's nice to meet you. Okay, okay, Geneva. Uh, so talk a little bit about the shed. You said this is primarily all recycled wood. Yes, it now, is. Now, my fence just blew down in the last storm, <laughs> and so I'm going to have to replace it. That's basically what happened here. Exactly. And from the fence, yes. you built this? Yes. Okay, so talk about made how you did fence. this and what it's all made out of. Okay, so the base is uh, made out of pellets and um, recycled pellets and recycled blocks. Then we saved the fence wood and um, made it look like siding. Okay, so what about the foundation? What do you do for the foundation down there? You can't really see it, but... It's a recycled pellets and the So this thing is blocks. sitting on pallets? Yep. Where do you, you get the pallets from? Um, from a pipe company right down the street here. Yeah. Okay, uh, how about the door, as far as the door? So the door is um, recycled from a remodeled restaurant from Grass Valley. And the window is recycled from our house. We put, um, took it out and put French doors in. Okay, so this is your, your art studio. Take us yes. inside. So. Is it? Get a load of this. You too, John, you too, but there's some, there's some fabulous stuff in here. So you have some like heirlooms in here that yes. you help kind of decorate it with. Yes. What's, what's this right here? So that little green chair is uh, a youth chair that my grandmother had. So, so 26 cool. of us grandkids and 13 great grandkids oh set our little God. bottoms right on that chair. Oh wow, my that is God. awesome. Wow. Okay, so the desk where you the desk where you do your painting from right there, yeah. what, what, what is this? That's a recycled door from in the house. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So these are your paintings. I'm taking it here on the wall. Uh, some of them are mine and some of them are my mother's. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That's all right. amazing. Then, okay. I see some. I see some white jugs up there. What about the the white? What are those up They're there? They're coffee pot and teapot. My dad and I dug out of a um, an old dump out in the Oregon desert. The Oregon Desert. Okay, what about the rest of these things that we see on the shelf up here? Are those part of the family, too, or yes, stuff that you found? Yes, they are. This little tin right here is a button tin from my grandmother. Okay, what about this thing here at my feet? That's a doll daybed that um, my mom had. Okay, my so you just held all everything through the years yep. with the family. Yep. Okay, and what about the chair there in the background? It's a rocking chair from my grandmother. Okay, so how did this all come about? How did you decide, okay, let's start with the fence and just take uh, the broken down fence and build the shed like this? Well, I wanted a shed, but I didn't want to pay the money. So, I decided, well, we're going to use, do use recycled stuff. Why put it in the dump? And so when we did the framing and we started that outside, then I came in and did the um, fencing on the two sides of the wall and then the other two walls have painters drop cloth so the walls are different you just yeah. uh, again yeah. you oh, just yeah. use whatever you resources have. you have exactly so. and the flooring is from two different remodel jobs from different houses okay so how did you pick that up so you didn't pay for that you just nope. got that and yep. you're utilizing it yep. as your floor exactly my son saved it because he figured well we can use it for some place and i said i'll take it, it wasn't enough for the whole thing but i didn't i don't care Okay, so what's <laughs> next? What are you going to try to do next with it? I mean, it's actually beautiful. I'm going to use it. Yeah, so, so, so what are you looking for next to add to this? Just anything you come across? Is that what you do? Exactly, Just, yeah. You find uses? Okay. Yeah, good. so the bells are from my dad's antique bell collection. And okay, the, and my, what about the birdhouse on the side there? Well, the birdhouse, my son makes the birdhouses. Okay. And personally, you know, creative stuff from woodworking. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't throw away much stuff. No. <laughs> but but you guys, there's no clutter in the backyard. You wouldn't think that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, she's a pack rat, kind of like camera guy Dave. I mean, everything looks really nice. Yeah. So you guys uh, built this as well, the, the, yes. the bed here? Yep. 
And again, using all recycled and repurposed. That exactly. is so cool. Okay, well, thank Great. you very much. Thank you. And, and Mike, you helped out. You helped out with the building of all of this, huh? That is correct. All right. Are you pretty proud of the way it came out? I'm just very, very impressed with this lady and the way the whole thing came out. All right, Mike. Aww. Okay. Mike and Geneva, you guys, with their she shed. There you go. Back over to you. That is, that is so stuff. cool. And what a talented family. Right? I mean, we saw so many different pieces. Yeah. Mom or son. Very cool. We should have brought stuff from our, like, our